Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for clicking on this video. If you guys are new, my name is Stephanie. So today we're going to be talking about the new on demand. I was about to say Netflix. I've been doing so many Netflix reviews, you guys. So today we're going to be talking about Judd Apatel's a new film that you can currently rent on demand, The King of Staten Island. Make everyone around you feel crazy. People are normal, then they hang out with you, and then they're fucking Jack Nicholson in The Shining or something. <laughs> I gotta tell my mom you tried to drown me. To the above ground pool, you're like fucking eight feet tall. So the Kina Staten Island is currently available to rent on demand for $20. It was released on June the 12th. It is directed by Judd Apatow. It does star Pete Davidson, who also um, co-wrote it. It also stars Marissa Tomei, Bill Murr, Maude Apatow, Belle Pulaski. And it's rated R. It is a drum calm and it is two hours and 17 minutes long. So in this story, we do follow Scott, who is played by Pete Pete Davidson. Um, he is a very like troubled, lost soul. Um, he lost his father when he was seven years old. Um, his father was a firefighter and he actually lost his life while he was saving the life. Coincidentally is how Pete actually lost his father. Um, he did lose his um, dad during the 9-11 uh, attacks. Very sentimental factor for Pete. Uh, like I said earlier, he did help co-write it. He is dealing a lot with with depression in this movie he just doesn't know what to do with his life he's 24 years old he's living with his mother and he's not doing anything to better himself he mentioned it in the in the, in the movie that he does have Crohn's disease which in real life pete has Crohn's. so this is kind of i guess in a way based on a true story or just like you know as based as a true story as based true stories are now i pretty much do like a lot of judd's movies um the only exception would be funny people that i wasn't really that fond of it i've only seen it once i really do want to give it another shot i do want to do like a judd uh ranking videos i believe this actually pete's like first lead role if i'm not mistaken i could be if i am let me know down below i know earlier this year he did do big time adolescent i think that's the name of the movie um i haven't seen it i don't have hulu so um i have not seen that movie yet but i did hear great things but i from what i understood he's not the main character from that movie this movie he is the main character i don't hate pete i really don't see a lot of his work um i did see him back when i used to watch snl now the movie is a little bit too long but it's not uncommon for a judd movie to be honest with you to kind of linger a little bit longer than it should have i think we could have cut back at least 20 minutes of it i mean the way that it ended i did kind of want a little bit more from it but i not necessarily that i wanted the movie to be longer there was just some parts uh within the movie that i felt that we didn't necessarily need so the pacing overall i felt was pretty okay i mean it did have its little slow moments in certain parts and those are the parts that i wish would have been taken out and you know again could have been at least 20 minutes shorter uh 15 to 20 minutes shorter i think would have been good now overall i did enjoy the movie more than i anticipated i would i mean again i didn't know anything about the movie going in but i don't know like being pete not to say anything bad about him or anything like that but i was just like i don't know like i i thought it was gonna be kind of of a bad movie i know that's horrible to say but i'm glad to say that it literally proved me wrong it really really did i do think it is worth the watch um also it was uh funny i mean not like full-on comedy i mean i know i did say it's a a drum com but it is more on the dramatic side but it does have a little hints of comedy sprinkled in there uh some of the jokes actually really had me um laughing pretty hard but with that said if you've seen the king of Staten island what did you guys think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you let me know down below of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new and until next time i'll see you guys at the sessions bye Bye.